Hey everyone, once again we are back inside the B-Movie Bunker. We are looking at another film brought to us uh, from the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival 2012. This is Cadaver Christmas. Wow! I was absolutely blown away by this one. Uh, this is brought to us by director uh, Joe Zerul. If independent horror can do this, Hollywood should just fucking stop making horror in general and just leave it to the independent people, which I think they should do anyways. And just funnel some of that money so that these people have a little bit more money to do the things that they do. Because this this was absolutely brilliant. You've got the story of, of the janitor uh, who, you know, while cleaning up uh, the science building, some cadavers come back to life and attack him. And then it's this, this great, great horror comedy of him and some of the other people who end up helping him fighting off these cadavers. They're not zombies, they're cadavers, as the janitor constantly says. This was so well written and so well done, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm gobsmacked by how good this was. Um, the acting was actually really, really good. Um, for, for an independent film, the acting was, was incredibly good. The comedic timing and the comedy in general, just so much of it. Um, Hamlin uh, Smith, I believe, uh, who plays Tom the, the Drunk, Wow, just incredible. And and Daniel Hale, the janitor, and just everyone involved in it just did such a great job. You've got you got plenty of gore. There, there's there's blood out the wazoo and so many great ways of zombies getting decapitated and uh, impaled and just it's just brilliant. I cannot recommend this one enough. It comes out on D V D October second. You have to buy this. I mean this is not a you might like it. If you like horror in any way, shape or form at all you will love this movie. It, it was just so much fun. The the direction and everything, I mean, there, it, it was filmed, uh, and he did kind of that, that old-timey, like, grainy kind of 70s feel to it, you know, like, you know, like you'd see, like, a Chop House film. And it was kind of, as he, as the director says, uh, it was kind of to, to cover up some of the, some of the stuff in the movie from, from, from their not having the best sound, not having the best equipment in general. I, I think it works really well with the movie. I mean, he's apparently cleaned it up for, for overseas distribution. Whatever. It doesn't distract from the movie at all. I think it just... It, it kind of fits that. It makes me reminiscent of, of some of the great classics that I've seen. This has such like a kind of Evil Dead type feel to it in some ways where it's, it's that great blend of horror and comedy. And just so much of it is so much fun. I mean, I was laughing constantly... I, I can't think of the last time I enjoyed a horror comedy this much. It's 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 it was just simply incredible. And Mr. Zerul or Joe or whatever I I'm allowed to call you, you got to keep doing shit, man, because this this is absolutely fantastic. I hope that everyone who watches it, all 19 of you that watch my uh, my review, I hope you all go out and buy this one because you've got to support independent horror. You have to support independent film. Support independent everything. Because that's where the true innovators and the true creators are coming from. Because this guy here, and the people involved with this, they did such brilliant work, and they've got to keep doing it, I think. Because, oh, it's just, it's incredible. So, scale 1 to 10 is probably what you're waiting on then. This is like, so, you're facing a zombie, apo I'm sorry, cadaver apocalypse. And you're like, man, we are fucked. You know, you're, you're out of ammo, you got hardly any, any uh, food... You know, weapons are scarce. You've got, like, you know, half a fire hose and, like, you know, a twig. And you you know, got fucking cadavers coming in from every side. And, boom, fucking Santa shows up. It's like, holy motherfucking shit. For, you know, first of all, there's really a fucking Santa Claus? I have a fucking erection the size of the fucking Chrysler building because it's like motherfucking Santa's here. And he fucking gives you fucking AK-47s and fucking bazookas and body armor and... And fucking all the food you can possibly eat. And he gives you the fucking, you know, like, fucking real-ass bunker to fucking live in. He's like, Merry Christmas, assholes. And he fucking kills all the cadavers around you. And he's just like, now let's drink some fucking beer. That's what this is. It's Santa shows up, saves your ass, brings you fucking beer. And I'm talking good beer. You know, not crappy beer. Great beer, like Keystone or Keystone Light. No, that's crappy beer. Just good beer, like Sprecher. Yeah, like Sprecher beer. And you got fucking pork chops and fucking ham. And you got fucking, uh... 
cotton candy and licorice bites and all that. Everything's fucking good, man. It's just like fucking awesome. You're like fucking eating and you're drinking beer and there's fucking cadavers just fucking dropping dead everywhere and you can just fucking sit there and go, fucking mortar, boom. Shit blows up. It's great. Everything's awesome. Who thought that the end of the world could be so much fucking fun? That's all I got for this one, folks. Till next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland. And buy this DVD, October 9th, Amazon, and other places you'll be able to find it. Buy it. Stay safe in the wasteland, you chumps.